Hello and we are the student leadership team for 2024 to 2025. I'm Talia and I will be the new head girl. Hi, I'm Quinn and I'm one of the deputies. Hi, I'm Amber and I'm this year's sports captain. Hi, I'm Phoebe and I'm one of the deputies. Hi, I'm Coco and I'm also a deputy. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm also one of the deputies. Hi, I'm Annika and I'm also a deputy. I think I want it to be quite a collaborative space and one that encourages you know, everyone to deliver new ideas and be, be, be excited about doing that and wanting the school to be a better place for everyone here. Um, and I think mainly I want the school to feel more interconnected between the main school and the sixth form and make especially the younger students feel like they can approach the older girls for advice and anything that they need and it will make the school I think a happier environment for everyone. I think especially regarding sport I want sport to be something for everyone it's more than just for the competitors it should be something fun something light something that we can all take part in just for a little bit of, like an old joke, yeah? It doesn't have to be so serious. And I'd really like to, sort of talking on to what Talia was saying, create that different, like, interconnection between the year groups and make it, maybe we make more house events, we make it really like a collaborative space for everyone. Yeah, I think with what Amber and Talia were saying, just make everything more collaborative. I think events like the fashion show and the musical, and just all the little events that happen throughout the year make sure that more people are included and everyone feels like they have something to belong to at school. Well, I've seen the positive changes that the student leadership teams before us have had and they experienced those beneficial impacts first hand and I think for me I really wanted to be a part of those positive changes just seeing how um, they had an impact on the school and how that was really effective for us and uh, I've been here for a while and I want to give back to this community which is been so much a part of my lifestyle so yeah yeah I completely agree with Coco I think like seeing like the impact that the student leadership team has had on the school really made me want to be a part of it and um, I really want to create a positive environment for everyone um, I think one of the main um, things that SLT should be good at is being approachable for um, all of the students because obviously we are um, we are in a, in a way the go-between between between the students and um, the senior leadership team and the teachers um, and so if we're approachable then well I mean everyone could feel like they, appro they can approach us <laughs> but, um, but then then if other people have ideas um, to make the school a better place and nicer for everyone then um, then they will be more likely to go to us which is important. Yeah I guess just building on from that being like a diverse team I think we have so many different hobbies and passions I mean, we do so many different subjects between us. So I guess just having that come together and being able to collaborate, I think that'll make a really successful team. I think particularly for me, it was the musical. Um, it's allowed me to really build on my confidence and collaborative skills. And also when we get to work with other year groups um, and like build relationships with them, that's really, really nice. And also it allows me in particular to feel more confident confident giving them advice and also taking advice which I think is really important and it will help with giving speeches and open mornings and things like that and I think it's a really good skill to have that will be important. Yeah I mean just like Talia said the musical is such an incredible and unique opportunity which Surbiton offers and other schools don't necessarily offer at such a grand scale and such interconnection between the year groups which is amazing but I think also in terms of like co-curricula that they offer at the school, public speaking, that's open to everyone. We've got the student laureates, the young reporter scheme, model UN, and they're all opportunities where you can build your verbal and written communication skills, with, which I think is a really important skill for this team because so often we're demanded to talk to our peers, each other, teachers, and being able to communicate your thoughts effectively is really important, I think, when we want to build on ideas and make changes, then I think that's really important. I think one of the biggest things for me is like my sporting achievements. I think because I'm not really, as much as I've tried to be a musical kid, singing is not a talent of mine. <laughs> so I think having that team and building that confidence and feeling like I have somewhere to go was my, yeah, finding who I was was really helpful for me and has helped me, uh, allowed me to get here. Um, and to have people, like, those connections to talk to as well, because whether it's older year groups, teachers, finding that connection, someone that you can trust, someone you can talk to, um, it's been super helpful in me being able to like, ex explore in sports captain, yeah. 
Yeah, I think um, for me personally, quite. I mean, obviously, we a lot of us are ha uh, heads of houses, um, and I think that's been a big part of kind of developing leadership skills, and especially during the fashion show when you're kind of in charge of um, lots of the young years, and there's a big sense of community within the house, um, and I think that's quite helpful to kind of like to develop the right skills um, that you need for the um, student leadership team. Um, and it's also just a really lovely experience, I mean, just to see everyone get up there and do their bit, um, it's, yeah, it's really fun. So. And I think there's so many opportunities you can have, even whether it's being like a, a form captain or being like a head of a sports team that you can you just throw yourself into and I think all of them add up, create an experience and, yeah, helps you get the confidence to do something like this. Well, the one thing I'd say I love the most is definitely the support that we all get from every aspect of the community here. Most importantly for me, I think it's been the teachers. Um, they've helped me to grow and develop, obviously academically, but more as a person as well. And like giving me the confidence to go outside my lessons and share the things that I've learned in there to other people and encourage them to do or learn about some of the things that I've done. Um, yeah, and I think by them giving me the confidence and the knowledge and understanding to do things and put myself out there is, is ultimately one of the reasons that I put myself forward for this and I think it's, yeah, it's really benefited me. Yeah, I mean, the community here is just amazing. Yeah. It extends from both teachers and the students here. Mm -hmm. That sense of community and support that we all have for each other really encourages you, as you're saying, to push yourself academically but also outside as a person encouraging you to make those mistakes and make those challenges in yourself to achieve things that you thought were seemingly unattainable. And that's so important because you know that that community is always right behind you. When those inevitable setbacks do happen, it's not something scary and it's not something that will put you back for good. You feel ready to move on from those mistakes and build on them. And I think that's something that's important for a school, but also for work life and university. Just having self-confidence that the teachers and peers here have given us is essential yeah yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah I mean I, I think I think the what both of you said kind of like leaning on from the support just through really anything that comes comes your way I mean they, they they're, they're really great at adapting to kind of um, to whatever you need um, so I mean for me personally I think um, I when I came out in 2021 and then I told everyone that I was changing my name they, the, the, on the MIS, I think, like, the next week, it was already all changed. And, I mean, that was incredibly helpful for me at the time. And I think that they were... They are similarly good at adapting um, for lots of other things. So lots of my friends have had kind of ways in which, um, yeah, the school has adapted to, um, to help them through whatever they need. So. I think, as well, the school just offers such a wide range of opportunities and sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming you don't know where to go but I think that's such a good problem to have and one that I don't think many other schools offer as well um, having yeah having that opportunity and then talking what you guys are about but having that guidance to find your group of people to find those teachers that work with you well it's yeah it's a pretty amazing school actually <laughs> um, yeah and to add on from that I think the people are my favourite thing without doubt about this having the friendships across the different years and yeah the teachers the people definitely <laughs> yeah no I completely agree and like the positive environment that all of that creates like the teachers the students like the whole community I think especially like the wider school as well like I feel like connected especially like the other day literally the school photo I was like oh my god there's so many of us it's just like like such a big community um so yeah yeah, I think there's so much on offer, like there's so many clubs you can do, if you like drama you can do the musical, if you like sports there's like, must be over a hundred clubs or something, I'm <laughs> <sport>. like, <laughs> like I've done like textiles club, I've done like the year seven stuff, astrology it's, club, yeah there's so, so much you can do, I think they just cater for everyone. Yeah, they give you so many different opportunities. I think what I love most is that they let you find whatever you want to. And they never tell you that you can't do anything. Like, there's the fashion show and then the musical and all the sports events. So they really let you explore yourself and see who you want to be at the end of it. I think there is so much and there is no, like, there is no, that this is the group for you. 
Yeah. Year seven, I tried a little bit of a robotics club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with free donuts, but there is no there is no guidelines. It's free to be you. Yeah, yeah. you find your niche. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. You find your thing. Yeah. 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 We're going to work, I think, really collaboratively together, like bringing on board everyone's different ideas, like giving everyone a moment to say their piece, kind of, and bringing that to find a solution, we, more than one or one solution that we all kind of agree on. Yeah, I think um, also making communication a priority and making sure that we're all, like, communicating effectively so we don't have any mis you know, mishaps or anything, so that everything runs smoothly. I think like it's really important to like make sure you stay organised and like you're doing you're making sure you get all your work done like in your private studies so then after school we can kind of think about the student leadership team and ideas and things like that. But I think if you kind of make your work your priority in your private studies then that gives you more time to like free up. Yeah, I think just sort of prior like being able to prioritise and understand that also you're not alone, like we have all of you guys and the other senior prefects to help us and support us and I think that if you prioritise the work that you, you have, make sure you're using your private studies effectively and things like that but also allowing yourself to, you know, relax, don't, don't let it overwhelm you or anything like that, it's, it's not meant to be like that, it's meant to be something that you're excited about and that you're willing to put in more time to do so yeah, I just think have it keep it's there. It's exciting, and I think if you think think like like that, then yeah, it would all be fine. Yeah, to add on to that, I think it's important to remember that it's okay to ask for help as yeah. well because things are going to get more challenging. Mm -hmm. Maybe like we've got mocks coming up, and we've got that support system which we've talked about. So this is a time when we've got to use it the most. Yeah, communicating with each other, like letting each other know when something can't happen, picking things up for each other, but also offering that favour back. Like, not letting anyone, like, carry the weight of the team. Yeah. 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 I know we won't, because we're all very community girls, and <laughs> <laughs> we're here for a reason. Yeah. But, you know, we, we can all, like, work together, and I think we're going to be good at doing that. I would say that if I was a year 11, this is something I would want to hear. I would want to hear someone tell me that just go for it, like, don't limit yourself, because... I mean, if I limited myself, I wouldn't have gone for this and you wouldn't know the potential that you have. So I think just don't limit yourself to anything. Just go for it. Put yourself out there. And even if, even if it is quite daunting, which it, which it was, it was, I won't, I won't say it wasn't, um, but it was a journey and it was an exciting one. And yeah, you, you won't know where you'll end up in, unless you go for something. So Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, yeah, just go for it. And especially even if you don't, um, even if you don't end up getting a role on the team, mm. the I mean the experience of doing all these interviews is I think quite helpful in um, later life because I mean there are lots of interviews in life so it's kind of um, it's good experience to have. Yeah. yeah, I guess just putting yourself out there because the process itself is so rewarding and you get feedback from each stage I think so even if you maybe aren't successful you still get feedback you know what to work on because those skills will be really handy later on in life as well. Yeah, just knowing you've gone through that process is such an achievement in itself because there are so many rounds, there are so many interviews and you really gain a sense of reward no matter where you end up from that process. I know everyone who's gone through the process has just felt an immense sense of accomplishment in that and I think in that self, even if you haven't made the team, is something that you should be really proud of and having a genuine care for the school is shown simply from entering yourself into that process which is really valued by teachers and your peers. Yeah. And I think like taking advantage of other opportunities throughout the year, like becoming a house leader or doing the fashion show or the musical so that you have like more time to explore your leadership opportunities so you have more things to talk about and reflect on in interviews and applications. Yeah. I think like everyone said literally, if you if you don't go for it then you're not gonna know whether you're gonna get through this mm -hmm. process. So I think if you go for it then you get something out of the process either way, you get feedback yeah. or you get to be in a team, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Just believe in yourself because you don't know until you yeah, get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well give it a shot. Yeah. There's no preconceptions about the team, like it really is anyone's game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone brings something different and I think that's what makes it as good as it is. So. Mm -hmm. Just like be yourself and you apply. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would describe it to be supportive. I think it's positive. Yeah. Inspiring. <laughs> I'd say nurturing. Encouraging. Yeah, I think I'd say empowering. <laughs> I was just going to say green. Yeah, it works. I was Put the green shirt on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to support the colours. <laughs>